I met Emmett when we were in college together. We got married about, it was almost five months after we met. And the early years of our marriage were perfect. You know, all I ever wanted was to be a wife and a mom. And we got blessed with children right away and we were living our dream. Once he started working, I thought things were gonna calm down and we'd have him around, but he just kept drifting further and further away. A few months before Emmett died, I started really thinking that something was wrong. I didn't feel the, the loving Emmett that I had always felt. When I look at pictures of Emmett, I almost look at myself like, what an idiot you were. You didn't have a clue. The rational side of my brain would be like, he doesn't want an older woman, he's got you. It's humiliating. Who wants to be the wife who wasn't enough? The night Emmett died, I sat there just tears running down my face. Like, how am I supposed to fix this marriage when I really don't know what I'm doing wrong? I'm trying everything. Emmett said, hey, I'm gonna go run to Walgreens really fast. I'll be right back. I said, please don't go. I need you today. I need us. I need to figure out whatever is going on with you and me and fix it. The last thing he said to me, he said, no, don't tell me what to do, I'm going. At 1 a.m., three police officers said, there's been an accident and your husband Emma has been shot and killed. So at the same second that I found out he was dead, I found out it was because he had been unfaithful. The hardest thing to hear was Candy was holding Emma in her arms as he died. I wanted to scream, you don't have the right to watch him take his last breath. He wasn't yours. He didn't die fighting for me. He died fighting for her. Well, Ashley hasn't spoken to Candy since the trial four years ago, and she has a restraining order against her that actually doesn't expire until the year 2026. But she lifted it just for today so that the two women can face each other here for the first time. Ashley wants an apology from Candy. We're going to see if that happens when we meet the mistress later. But first, I have some questions for Ashley. You say... Out of the blue, you had no idea that he was having an affair? I had no idea. But you said when you first met Candy, there was something about her that sent off warnings in your head. Yeah, I think a lot of times in my life I've had those something's not quite right feeling. And that was definitely one of those for me. Ashley has actually written a book, um, Silence Breaks. And she describes her first meeting with Candy. And here's, here's what you said in the book. Quote, she had on a mini skirt and hooker boots. Her cleavage was everywhere. She was older. She looked like she was being paid for her, quote, not so professional services. I felt nauseous. I felt she was definitely not the type of woman to whom Emmett would be attracted. This was the first time you saw her. And that's when you said something didn't look right. She wasn't dressed the way you thought a professional woman would be dressed. Exactly. In a lawyer's office. And, and that night when he said, I'm leaving, I, I'm going to Walgreens to pick up prescription. And you said, don't leave. I need you really here with me. Did you think he was going off somewhere he shouldn't be? Or did you think he was just going to run an errand? No, I knew he was going somewhere he shouldn't be because it had been kind of the same pattern for a couple weeks. But yet you had no idea he was having an affair. Where did you think he was going if, he, if this was a pattern and <laughs> you know, he was leaving I, unexpectedly? I thought maybe it was like a drinking thing or something like that. And every time I would beg him to like, let me in, he never gave me any answers. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing you know, you have police on your doorstep. 